from the WMC camp in Kosamui, Gabriel Rossi makes his way to Centurion to take on the Brute McPhee in our semi-main event. Hammer someone we've seen a few times before, Gabriel Rossi. Well, Gabriel Rossi is uh, warned with them all. Eugene Eckleboom over there in WA on one of the supremacy shows. He's uh, not a man that will back down from any challenge. Short notice. He's on the plane. He's got the gloves on and he's ready to war. And we're about to see. There he is. No longer Bruce McVeigh. We've now dubbed him Bruce McVeigh. Fresh back from filming the contender. His second fight in as many weeks here tonight. Last week he defeated the legendary one lot. About a month and a half ago, he balled the ball at Jason Sherry. And the man in the cape, Brute McVie, is back in the house on another Evolution show. He's David Eller. And weighing in at 76 kilos even. 28 fights for 21 victories. Training at the WMC camp in Thailand. From Canada, Gabriel Rossi. His opponent tonight weighing in at 72.5 kilos. 79 victories from 115 fights as a professional. Training at the K6 Centre in Brisbane. Six times WMC Australian welterweight champion. WMC Commonwealth champion. Bruce the Preacher McPhee. Okay, third man in centering, Justin Gibbons oh, to that? deliver final instructions here. Gabriel Rossi out What's of the blue that? corner. And Brute McPhee out of the red corner. We are set for five by three, middleweight contest, 72 and a half kilos, full tie rules, knees, elbows, all the good stuff. Ramazan Ramazanov and Frankie Georgie in the corner of Gabriel Rossi. Meanwhile, across the ring, the team from K6 Gym being Dennis Brett in the corner of Brooke McPhee. The voice, Michael Chabello, the hammer, Mark Castanini with you from the sold out Chandler Arena in Brisbane. Hey boy, and gloves. this fight brought to you hey by Bet touch Easy. Gloves. Both touch men gloves. touch gloves and will be underway between Gabriel Rossi and Australia's most experienced Muay Thai fighter, the preacher, Brooke McPhee. Well, Bruce McPhee, model fighting just over a week ago. It was, in fact, last Friday night. So uh, a week and a day, he warred against uh, One Lop Sipilek for the uh, Fight for a Cause title and won it. And he's backed it up in a week and a day. He's here in this big event. We called him Brute McPhee because of the way he absolutely destroyed Jason Sherry at Penrith Panthers about a month and a half ago. And the the way he dominated one lot Sipilek one week ago. He dominated with the hands, I think, uh, fair to say. He just totally outboxed and outpointed one lot. Didn't uh, turn it into a grappling contest. Just uh, stayed on the outside, fought a very smart fight, racked up the points. And uh, I think, once again, that's going to be the telling point. He sustained two very deep cuts over his eyes. You'll see a bit of uh, a bit of taping over those cuts, especially the one over his left eye. I think it's actually still got a stitch or two in it. But uh, McPhee, let's see his resolve. He'll get in and he'll fight on, uh, on a day's notice anywhere. Gabriel Rossi, a world-travelled fighter who, as we saw against Eugene Eckleboom, has a lot of heart and can sustain enormous punishment. He comes down in weight for this one, fought Eugene at around 76, 77 kilo tonight fighting at 72 and a half is a very big set middleweight is gabrielle rossi not nearly as buffed as brute mcphee but then again a few fighters are well, i've actually trained with gabrielle over in uh, kosamui thailand he's a good hitter he's uh, actually fought and trains in uh, mma he's uh, fought on the ground no ho no holes barred fighting but uh, he's equally uh, proficient in the stand-up so uh, and uh, having done a bit of sparring with him over in Thailand, we're going to test that he's got some good skills. He's got some nice high kicks. Whether he gets the showcase them tonight against McPhee, I don't think M McPhee's really going to give him the opportunity. But a uh, big step up in class for uh, for Gabriel, Gabriel Rossi from Thailand, but uh, by the way of Canada. One of our two Canadian fighters on tonight's card. The other one earlier on, we saw Sylvie Charlounier of Canada losing to Jessica oh. Tolhurst. No, 
nice step up elbow there from Brute McPhee. Good lead check from Gabrielle Rossi. Nice jab from McPhee. You heard him with that one. Rossi was wobbled for a moment. Can McPhee capitalise and bring the right hand over the top? Just a quick uh, call out to the president of the Melbourne Football Club, Mr. Melbourne, Paul Gardner, the head of uh, Grey Media. Tunes in, uh, checks out our show. So uh, a big hello to you, Paul. Hope you're enjoying the action. I'm sure you are. This one. Body shot from Brute McPhee. Don't forget, folks, check us out online, myspace.com forward slash Fox Kickboxing. You can also check us out on www.facebook.com. Into the first round, we go to the Towers Hammer. Well, McPhee just, uh, again, using that uh, great strategy to rack up the points. And Jane Tapia warming up backstage for his WMC World Middleweight title fight against the large Cosmo Alexander. That one coming up next. We are ready to get underway. Second round, set four, five. Good to hear a bit of Montel Jordan between rounds. Are you an OB Mac or a wannabe player, Hammer? <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about. But we'll continue with the fight here in centre ring. Gabrielle Rossi of Canada, Brute McPhee of Australia. Hammer, first round, who did you give it to? Well, certainly uh, all the way of the red corner and the preacher. Nice front kick from McPhee. Sticks up the jab. As we saw in his past two fights against Sherry and Wunlop, the boxing prowess of McPhee is now very highly rated. It always was good, but now it's great. Well, McPhee is a big occasion fighter. And, uh, talking to him over the last few weeks, he's just looking to be as busy as possible. And uh, even after tonight, if all goes well, he was even trying to get over to the King's Cup uh, in Bangkok, Thailand, which will be happening in just a few short days. So uh, McPhee not backing down from any challenge and looking to have three fights in less than two weeks if uh, the occasion rises. Inside thigh kick from Gabrielle Rossi, right hand from McPhee. Nicely done from the Aussie. In front of a sold-out crowd here at the Chandler Arena for Evolution 12. Hope you're enjoying it, folks, just as much as we are. Good rib kick from Preacher off the right leg. Gabrielle Rossi, based out of the Kosamui WMC camp, where he trains alongside the likes of Knockbeat Davey. Three punch combination from McPhee. Step up, elbows in a connect for him. Second one. McPhee moving laterally. Good footwork. Chops out the lead leg. Have a look at the outside lead thigh of Gabrielle Rossi. It looks like it's been barbecued. Again, McPhee not remaining a stagnant target. Using a lot of the ring. Comes forward. Belly button through the back with the front kick. This is good work from McPhee, systematically, methodically, just outpointing Gabrielle Rossi and not putting a foot, a hand or a knee wrong so far, Hammer. Well, McPhee just uh, systematically going about his work in centre ring, a little tradesman-like effort. It's no secret that McPhee wants to fight the best in the world. And he maybe wants to get one more crack at JW somewhere along the line. Whether it's going to happen after two defeats at the hands of the Gunslinger already, well, we'll wait to see in 2008. But McPhee has said, as he does say in the latest issue of International Kickboxer magazine, I'll take on anyone in the world and I'll hold my head up proudly at the end of the day against them all. Nice body shot. Rips to the rib cage, then to the head. He's had more punch than a high school prom, and that's another round for the preacher. There's a tidy handwork that uh, we are getting used to seeing from uh, McPhee. Just working all angles, not staying in front of his opponent. He unloads his combo and then skips off out to the side. For the third round of five, a bit of Timberland, just the way you are between rounds. 
Derek McPhee opens up like a house of fire. Interestingly, McPhee standing between rounds. Gabrielle Rossi taking a seat. And McPhee, he's teeing off at him like a golf course with his hands. Well, Rossi really needs to keep McPhee at range via the legs. He needs to be popping the kicks out, especially the front kick. Whenever McPhee gets into that boxing range, Rossi needs to uh, push a front kick out. And the kick with McPhee out of that arm range was uh, his hands are lightning fast and getting through that guard. Right hand from Preacher. Gabrielle Rossi has had no answers for the speed and the accuracy of Rick McPhee here tonight so far. Well, so he's standing in front of McPhee. He's in that, he's in that kill zone. He's in that target zone for McPhee, Rossi. He needs to be out on angles, out the side door, particularly uh, moving off to his left. Sorry, moving off to his right and uh, away from McPhee's right hand. Crossing elbow from Gabrielle Rossi. The distancing was nowhere near it, though. Step up knee from McPhee. I'm a poet. I don't even know it. Front kick from Gabrielle Rossi. You know, you know Michael, it, uh, it really is amazing how many world-class fighters are based in Queensland. And don't forget, Tuesday, the 22nd of January, 8.30 p.m., the, uh, the special on Nathan the Carnage Corbett. We'll see all these insights and uh, hear all about the carnage and see some absolute fight footage, some sensational fight footage. Crossing elbow from Brick McPhee. Once again, just controlling this fight. And now looking to open up a cut on Gabrielle Rossi. Rossi in trouble. He's been stunned. Picks out the support leg. A little bit of preservation there for Gabrielle. Rossi uh, getting caught with a body shot there in that uh, exchange. And again, getting beaten to the jab. He needs to bring that right hand across the front of his face. Rather than sitting it on his jawline, he needs to, to catch that jab with that rear hand, parry it out, and then answer with his own jab. So Rossi's uh, boxing skills nowhere near up to par with the preacher. Crossing elbow from Brut McPhee. Spinning back elbow in front of our commentary position. Inside thigh kick from McPhee. Step up knee from the preacher. And Australia's most experienced Muay Thai fighter is doing an absolute number on this Canadian. Body shot again. Lays the jab. More jabs than a pin cushion from Brute McPhee. Throws a lazy right hand as McPhee. Can't afford to get complacent though, Hammer, against a man of the experience of Gabriel Rossi. I'll tell you what, Rossi's got to be feeling like he's fighting a man with six arms and four legs because he's getting hit from all angles and getting kicked uh, from many more. So Rossi's certainly uh, having a hard day at the office tonight in centre ring. 30-27, Preacher. Once again, you see the lightning fast jab of McPhee getting through. Rossi keeping that right hand on the side of his jawline, which is good to negate the hook, but uh, really not helping him much when it comes to the jab. McPhee bringing the knee through under the guard and the elbow over the top. All angles, he's got him covered in McPhee. Turning elbow, and, uh, McPhee now starting to dig deep into his bag of tricks and uh, rip out some beauties. Final instructions from Ramazan Ramazanov in the corner of Gabrielle Rossi. Dennis Brett in the corner of Brute McPhee. 30-27 to Preacher. He's doing it easily after three rounds. And there's a nice right hand from Gabrielle Rossi. Maybe the Canadian's going to start to come on strong now. He leans his head back a lot, there's Gabrielle Rossi, when he throws a puncher's hammer. Someone sending off fireworks somewhere. Oh, I think it's the Booman PA. It's the Booman PA. Rossi comes forward, throws a wild, sloppy right hand. McPhee just scoring on him. He digs down to the body nicely off that lead hand, McPhee. McPhee on the balls of his feet, constantly moving. I do, I do think that uh, McPhee uh, in his bout against uh, Wanlop was probably... Uh, 15, uh, 15, maybe 20% faster. He was uh, he was a lot sharper, so maybe that uh, quick turnaround of uh, fights 
has uh, slowed McPhee a little. He, he might be a little weary tonight against oh, Rossi. It could just be, Hammer, that one lap was a much faster fighter himself than Gabriel Rossi. And Rossi is really offering no resistance here for McPhee. Well, uh, apart from that one there, which caught McPhee. But um, yeah, I just uh, feel his hands were, were shooting out a lot quicker. He was lighter on his feet, definitely. And uh, working the angles more against uh, against one lap. Circling off, comes forward on Rossi again, takes an inside bike, he gives one back. Snaking jab from McPhee, nice front kick. And the Aussie doing a number. What can Gabriel Rossi do to try and turn this one in his favour? But I'm just trying to uh, think back to when uh, was the last time I've seen uh, an Aussie fighter fight on a main event one week and then be the semi-main event the very next week. And uh, I really can't remember. So, you know, this is, uh, this is a sensational effort from McPhee to, uh, to come back and uh, war again tonight. Outside fire kick. Let's go, boys. Fight. What can Rossi do? Given his natural size advantage here on McPhee, perhaps he should try and bully McPhee a little, just like that hammer. Try and bull rush him, try and manhandle him. Maybe get a bit more aggressive on McPhee and see if he can land a big right hand. I certainly uh, feel he would have a... It would be fairly even in the, in the clinch, in the grapple. And if there's any, anywhere where uh, Rossi might be able to hold his own, that is in the clinch. And I'm surprised that he's not shutting the range down and uh, preferring instead to, to mix it up with the hands because McPhee's hands uh, are a lot better than, uh, than Rossi's. Well, besides the elbows that have been thrown by McPhee, but to no effect yet, this has been pretty much a kickboxing contest. Well, certainly, and that, that is uh, Bruce's uh, preferred style of fighting now. He's, uh, he, he likes to work from the outside, and that, it's what he does, what he does well. His range, his range and uh, his hand skills and everything, it's just perfectly suited for him. So McPhee really doesn't get into those grappling exchanges unless he has to. 40-36 after four rounds for Preacher. Once again, we see McPhee getting through with the jab, but the Rossi countering nicely with the right hand. The, uh, the low kick takes Rossi down. The, as I said, McPhee just systematically going through the the, uh, the work rate and the motions here with Rossi, but Rossi showing flashes of danger technique as well, landing the, the odd uh, the odd angle shot on McPhee also. The fifth and final round, and what has been another dominating display. By Brute McPhee. Rossi needs to knock out McPhee to win this one. That's the simple statistic, the simple math. That's a math even I can understand. <laughs> McPhee just needs to keep doing what he's doing. Although it wouldn't surprise me if the preacher tries to go for a knockout. He has hurt that lead leg. Rossi's going to go down here. Three more shots on that lead leg, and Rossi will go down. There's one. It took one, Hammer. I said three. You said three. It took one. You're, very, you're being generous. Oh. One shot oh. on the lead leg. Six. I told you, Preacher Seven. might go for a knockout yeah, here. Nine. He'll be straight on that lead Ten. leg again. Referee waves this oh, off. It's good night, Irene! Rossi cannot walk. Brute McPhee has done it again! That's why we call him the Brutes Hammer. <laughs> He's done it again. He, he brutalizes four. another one. Chopped that leg like it was a piece of steak. Once again, you see McPhee going to work. This is how it went down. Systematically picking the openings on Rossi. He thought that lead thigh was weak, so he went after it. Kicked through it. Punched through the guard and then went back downstairs again. Rossi showing uh, the weakness of the lead thigh. McPhee capitalising totally on it. There it was, the last kick, the nail in the coffin of the Canadian Gabriel Rossi, so to speak, as McPhee just went hunting for that lead thigh. It's corked up. It's uh, totally full of blood and unable to move that muscle now. And uh, Rossi just went down after that one, and that was all she wrote. Ladies and gentlemen, at the top of the one minute into round number five, the fight has been knocked. Your 